right, folks, 1775 Whiskey Passport Club. Collectively, we are making the whiskey world a smaller place. Now, if you want to be one of the gang, it's going to cost you £25. But what do we get for £25, my friend? Can you show us what's in this box? Absolutely. Oh, it's magic boxing. We got a Glencairn glass with 1775 wow. whiskey branded yep. on it. You'll get, this is wrapped just now, you got a 50 mils of whiskey, you might see it there. And the tasting notes are sellotaped to it, so you can enjoy what and we're getting. And it's a special one. And uh, this is a temporary card just now, but the cards will be similar to this, which are made of oak. Everyone's individually numbered. It's you sustainability. Get, absolutely, you get different wee bits and pieces. Uh, the frisky flavour map that we always talk about, and some old Scots words. And I see one here, which was added to it without my permission. It's Tati Peel, a bald-headed man with whisky knowledge. Wrong. Uh, so, well, of course it kind of is, but also the, the planting in the oak tree for sustainability, we want you to come and be part of us, we want you to drive the club forward, have some fun, have a great time, learn a lot of knowledge, pass a lot on. And the benefits and discounts, lots of places join us where you'll get discounts for food, discounts for hired things, various different things you can do, we will give you food here, I'll give you discounts on tours, Lots of things that's going to benefit you as a member of 1775 Fisker Passport. Excellent. And all we're going to say, Tatty Peel, slange. slange. Half past eight, time for 1775 Fisker Passport. Great news is there's a fit of snow in Pennycook. Blakey can't make it allegedly, he phoned about an hour ago, he can't get down there so it's just me tonight, absolutely fantastic, with no crap to put up me, no nonsense, no idiots like Blakey going about here. So what we're going to do tonight, I, oh what's that flashing light going on, there's a wee flashing light somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've made it, hello folks and a very warm welcome what, what to the that? 1775 Whiskey Passport, coming live from the centre of the universe which is where? Craig. Why, Craig, absolutely. And collectively, what are we doing? Making the fiscal world a smaller we place. We definitely are. What, to my what left. Was that, what was that like? I'll tell you this. Jesus. <laughs> there's a laser or something. To my, my left here, we've got AKA Tatty Peel, otherwise known as Neil Forbes. The only Aye. man that I know that went to the gym with a kilt on for a yoga class. But, uh, it worked, eh? <laughs> it worked. Nobody else went back. Well, we've got Gregor the Great Technician. Concentrating the day, uh, really uh, concentrating the day, aye. He's been doing well, and what I've got to say is if you need anything fixed with your computer or that, don't ask this one, <laughs> ask that one. Hey, somebody asked me at the B&I the other day there, how to fix a computer. I had no, I had no, no clue what to no, no clue. <laughs> they asked me. Well, I've got to apologise for my uh, lateness. Um, your tardiness. My retardedness, <laughs> yes. I was on the, um, I decided to do a good turn for a friend of ours earlier on today um a couple of days ago the snow's really bad can you help me out um i'm needing a lot absolutely in fact it was going to get the bus i says don't get the bus i am going to come and pick you up personally save all the problems and we'll bring you here and then on the way back maybe another friend can take you so i rechanged my whole schedule had my dinner early went and done all the bits and bobs you know when you've got a routine before the big performance right, right. So anyway, big the big performance for the show, as you know, <laughs> as you know. So uh, anyway, long story short, gets in the car, dropped off to Dave is whiskey last minute dot com for him. So hopefully he's enjoying that. And uh, I'm just away to go and put the stuff in the sat nav to pick up our friend. It's okay, he says. I'm driving myself. I'm like you're joking. I've jumped through hoops to get here. So well, anyway, that's that, great. I'll not get stopped. The Paul's going to end with it. Take him home then. That's <laughs> why I've got our limited edition 1775 whiskey passport with uh, hats on to keep myself warm, and of course our body warmer as well. But we'll talk about them in a wee bit, and our sleeves and our bits and bobs. Not that we're trying to sell all this stuff, but we'll tell you about buying them in a wee bit. Anyway, uh, however, I'm here, so don't panic. And it's lovely to see you. It's lovely no, to see you. The first you've got these snow tires on, isn't it? Aye, 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 Tony, yeah, yeah. T-Bone, got the tires on. on. Sorry, good so, man. You know, but there's been a lot of snow this week. <sighs> Eight, nine inches in Haddington, aye? Eh? That's it. So what's that about? That's yeah, about that size. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> no, it's, it's massive. It was funny, I was at Booker's the other day there, and they, they had shovels to actually buy good shovels for a pound. 
So I ended up buying five of them for the staff to put in their cars. Another day that I went to help old George at his house and uh, shovel his drive, I thought, I know, I'll use one of those shovels I got for a pound. Stop. So, <laughs> no, no, worse than that. So, where is it? Oh, here it is, yeah. So this was it here. It was one of these telescopic ones. So you can see how, and I'm thinking this thing's going to get absolutely massive. So it goes like that. And then that's as big as it goes. It's tiny. <laughs> Maybe if I paid two pounds, I would have got more. <laughs> so like, anyway, that's what we do about the snow. So anyway. Aye. You better give that to GZ so he can dig his cell out his street again. Yes, aye, 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 aye. So anyway, enough of the shenanigans and a warm welcome officially. Anyway, this was the thermometer for. Oh, the, it's a thermometer. I just I saw this going on where he did it. I wonder what the hell it was. That was it. The uh, thermometer there for Martin, so he can see it and know what it's like. Aye, you know. aye. You see that, Martin? You see that? Aye. Yeah, that's it. Looking after you. A couple of uh, welcome, Dave, one of our newest members tonight. He was here, uh, Moorhead, been up the road, dropped off his pack as well. He thought his pack was our is. The, the package he got tonight was his membership pack. He actually thought it was the whiskey, so he was getting all excited. He realised it was a it was the package of the, the membership stuff rather than whiskey. So being the good customer focused, the 1775 whiskey passport people we are, jumped in the car and dropped it off to him. So he'll be enjoying so, us. In other words, he screwed it up then, Dave, is no, that right? No, 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 no. <laughs> the um, just before we go into the, the drams, I see who's died then. Do you want to tell everybody about the snow protocol? What happens if we're snowed out or whatever? Well, yeah, hopefully that's the last of the yeah. year. But we, we had a wee dilemma. Uh, APC couldn't have picked up on Tuesday and we've got a 24 hour delivery. Then they put the warning out on Wednesday. They weren't collecting, they weren't delivering. But they, they did actually get here. So a wee bit concerned for a few people. And we were on the verge yesterday of postponing the show to next Friday. So that's the sort of thing we'll do. We didn't want people. No, <laughs> oh no, it's all right. It's all right. We don't want people not have their taste impact, so it's easy when we're doing it fortnightly. We can postpone it for a week, but fingers crossed that's the end of the snow. Uh, we'll get near this year, so we'll do it next year. I see somebody on his phone where a mask oh. is cooking. Uh, <laughs> no ask. But uh, yeah, so that, that's what's going to happen with the snow in, in the future. We'll be able to put it off, but we'll let you know 24 hours minimum in advance. But uh, as far as I know, Jim McDonald was last phone me this afternoon to say it was delivered. Uh, we had a wee panic with Jim this morning. Mind you, it's the kingdom of Fife right now. Oh, the Fife They, they were under APC, they didn't want to go over the, the bridge to Fife right now. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Jim, you've got it, and hopefully you're sitting watching it and enjoying your dram in the next five, ten minutes or That's so. That's it. Uh, okay. A couple of other people that have dialed in to uh, watch us, not tonight, but down the line. We have Tori Barker that's dialing in from down in Yorkshire. We are whisking a pack to her just now. She's a, uh, She does the Instagram, all the blog kind of stuff. For the uh, the whiskies, uh, whiskey tea is our Instagram that she's on. So she'll be getting her whiskey pack tomorrow or Sunday, and hopefully she'll be watching us. So we know it's not live, but we'll look forward to see what you're going to say about us. Remember, I'm the good looking one. He's the bald one. And I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> be kind. But anyway, a warm, a warm welcome for us. Yeah. Now, and there's, there's also a new viewer today, Anna Serra. Oh, that's from, right. From uh, Roma. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> uh, Anna's, uh, I met Anna just last week through B&I. Uh, I had a one-to-one yep, -one yep. chat on uh, Zoom. And she's a tour guide in Rome, the whole Italy. As we're hoping to do some collaboration between Scotland and Italy on yep. tours. So Anna likes her Italian wine. We like her Scotch whiskey. Yes. So there'll be a, a war of the whiskey and wines eventually. So yeah, good to see you, Anna. I hope you're here. Good, good, good. Sorry, that was Briggs dialing in from America, not obviously watching, trying to get in touch with us. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, so anyway, welcome our friends throughout the world. I'm going to have a quick look who's here. Can you give us a wee snifter of what we're going to taste tonight? Just a wee snifter? Just a wee snifter, because I've got a wee change of show tonight. Okay. Number yes. one uh, this evening is an Altmore 12 year old. It's a space side. It's uh, off the foggy moss, and the foggy moss is the burn. It supplies the water to Altmore. So I think it's Keith, just outside Keith in uh, Mauritius is from there. Number two, really looking forward to this one. I love the bottles. It's the second Glen Turret we've got. It's a Glen Turret Trouble, uh, Trouble Wood. Trouble uh, Wood. Uh, yeah. uh, we've done the peated uh, expression fairly recently, about six, seven weeks ago. Uh, I, love, I just love the bottle. It's been bought by a, a French crystal uh, company. I've got some yeah, interesting yeah. facts I found out about Glen Turret recently. And you'll remember 1775 is the date of Glen Turret. 
the oldest operating, still operating distillery. And the Neil was there laying the foundation <laughs> stone in the northeast corner <laughs> of the you, sea. The day you feel like it, believe uh, me, I've absolutely exhausted the day. I've been on the go since 10 to 6 this morning. Oh my goodness, me. And I look fresh when you saw me. I was me about to say, you're still doing your paper round. <laughs> We're going to finish this evening with a port askeg, an Isley, lovely Pete uh, expression from Isley. We'll tell you a bit more about that. And it's an unusual one. It's an eight year old, which is a. Uh, Quite incredible now. I always talk about the, the age statements. They have age stated at eight year old, but it's more expensive than the, the standard port ask case. Nice. Yeah, so understand the car since Scott Watson when you were sunning in Tenerife. Aye, Scott, Scott was, the hot air, he'd be here uh, somewhere. Scott was explaining all about the cask and etc. And the more we know about the wood, the younger the whiskies are, the better quality they're becoming. So age statements, thing of the past. That's uh, three whiskies, GB. Excellent. What else you got to tell us today? Briggsies in America wanting to know what's in the Pink Panther, Cider, Lager and Black Can. Obviously they're at the oh, pub God. having a few refreshments. I know. It was the snake bite in the Pink Panther. Pink Panther. But, but anyway, who have we got? We've got Mike Kinnear dialed in from up in Aberdeen. He's our right. friendly man for the, right. the, the water. water. Yeah. We've got a lot of surprise. Martin, can you see that? Martin, can you see it? Can you see that? Oh, Martin, aye, aye. Uh, we're going to be winging a wee prize up to Mike because he was online on Christmas Day posting and I've got some stuff for him. I've not sent it yet. Susie Innes. Oh, but he's going to get the best prize a lot. He's getting to host us when we go up to Aberdeen. I know, I, I, as soon as looks, he's like, look forward to that, Mike, you've got to host us. And so look after us that night yeah. and drink. There's David uh, Moorhead, uh, Nicky Mitchell, Ali Sims, David Moorhead again, Neil McIver, Gordon Fisher, Crazy Kev for six. Simmons, we have Mr. Brown, Philip Thorne up there in sunny Pennycook with his laddie Jamie, uh, Ewan Fisher, Craig Fisher, you got your packs all right. right first time you remember, good to see you boys. And the Tatty Mobile, Mobile aye, aye. Came. <laughs> <laughs> easy to say, Doug LaRose, Stephen Johnston, hope you're feeling well, Michael Kelman, Brian Johnston, Johnny Walker's working tonight, but he'll be hiding in a closet. Is Brian's care home all done? I don't know. Get the room to watch again yeah. tonight. I'm impressed. That's yeah. it. Johnny, I'll be coming out the co the blooming uh, closet later. Gordon Smith down there in Brentford. Gordon, yeah. That's it. I could maybe send him my shovel to help get the snow away down there, eh? And then, of course, Susan Allen. Evening. Now, changing of tact. You know how we've started the direct debits. It's kind of changed now. So, you know, the earlier in the month, it's a £25 and then we we go for a bit more expensive during the duration. Because obviously the director's dramas are wanting it, we're going to have to kind of work it slightly different. So I've came up with this new idea, which we'll call it a special dram, right? Now, I'm not going to tell Tatty Peel what it is, and I'm not going to tell any of you guys what it is, right? And what we're going to do is do a blind taste. No, we're not going to do a blind taste. And look, his hair would fall out of me now, right? <laughs> but too many. What are you putting in the new figure, He's by looking the way. good. Yeah. He, uh, the, the girl outside is looking good, I should say. Um, <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you all questions throughout the show, see if I can pile up some answers. Is that cut? Oh, you can hear me, but we can't see you guys. Well, that's a bonus, then, isn't that's it? Right, I'll be back in there. <laughs> the bonus lasted 30 seconds. That's it, you can hear us. But uh, anyway, so what's happening is I've got this special bottle. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm not going to tell Tatty Peel here what it is. But I'm going to ask you some questions through the show to see if you can work it out. It's just for fun. Don't necessarily spill the beans. Well, I'll but... answer the questions. Yes. Right. Okay. And I'm going to give you the first question. Okay, then, Mr. Smarty Pants, before we get on to all the tasting and that. Question one. It was purchased in 1905 by the largest whiskey distillery in the United States. Do not Google it. Do not cheat. Daddy Peel, what's the answer? Bing. No. No, that no, doesn't know. No, 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 so there's no, no, no. question one, folks. Question one, it was purchased in 1905 by the largest whiskey distillery in the United States. And there's more questions to follow. In the United States? Yes. Anyway, right, come on, TP. Let's get ourselves right. going. Oh, okay. in fact, uh, carry on. You sure? Yep, yep, I'm yep. To, I'm allowed to talk? Yes, because there's other stuff I need to say, but you carry on. Okay. Number one, the first whiskey we're going to taste this evening is on Altmoor. It's uh, off the foggy moss. I see foggy moss is the burn where they draw their water from, uh, and I, I like all that sort of stuff because it's like Glen Kinchy. Glen Kinchy is the, the Kinchy burn, so mm -hmm. they draw the water from the, the Kinchy burn, and the Glen is always tell. My, my not not Peckham, not Peckham Springs. No, <laughs> uh, it, well, everybody who's on here, apart from some foreigners, uh, Glen is what 
Valley. Glenway's a valley. So if, you're, if your first case got Glen in it, your distillery's in a valley, and Glen is a very small valley, but you go down the hill and up the other side, uh, passing it, and if it's Ben, it's on the top of the hill. Oh. So it's just for some of our, our foreign guests this evening to explain that one. So it's an old moor, it's, it's an old distillery, 1896, uh, it's owned by John Dewars, so this uh -huh. goes in for the American market, you guys in the States, the Dewars White Label, this is a, a key ingredient to that, as well as Aberfeldy, which is John Dewars' uh, main distillery, uh, so this is a, a contributor to Dewars blended whiskey as well. Excellent. It's in Keith, uh, just outside Dufton. Uh, in the mid, right in the heart of the Speyside Valley, mm -hmm. and we've got a place to stay when we go up there as well now, the Five Farms, oh, David there. Is it the Five Farms? It's the Five Farms. Rather be a lifer than a... A Fifer. Talking about that, we've known yeah. him from uh, uh, over the water there, have we? Yeah. Uh, got um, the Carnegie, Ian Brown. Ian Brown, he's, uh, no, I spoke to him last week actually, he's, he's rejoining us in March again. Right, right. He's, he's too busy, he's, 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 writing, he's writing a book at the moment, a children's book. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's got lots of pictures for you, Neil. <laughs> Which is going to turn into a, a, a musical. Ian's a great musical, those of you who know. So, Altmoor. Let's have a wee look. No, I'm sat to lose it. I'm getting too greedy. Uh, have a quick look at it in the light. Lovely golden colour. Nice. Bourbon matured. American oak. I'm saying bourbon. 95% as always says bourbon matured. Lovely light colour. Have a look at the legs. Oh, what legs have we got legs today? Are, oh, they're actually... Oh, there we go, yeah, very oh. quick. Yeah, just in the back there, just maybe I'll sold my glass. You know, your favourite. light in the legs. Uh, as I say, normally not my favourite, but uh, I have tried this some years ago, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. all but uh, have we got the flavour mark, GB? I think we have. Oh, it's organised today, I'm impressed. We've got the flavour map. So, it's about here. And the brass neck. <laughs> <laughs> right, as right. you know, we've got right. the tight peel side. Something's going to get... Broken here, so very light, very delicate. Quick nose at it, there's absolutely no smoke in that whatsoever. So, we're coming down way down in the left hand side here, just a wee bit over. I think not not fully light because there's quite a nice syrup of nose actually. Now, nice. <laughs> just a mm. wee bit. so down in this bottom bottom corner, the left hand side, but very, very pleasant on the nose. Mm. No smoke, mm. getting the vanilla right away. Yep, yep, very. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, like we've, got, we've got the. Green apples. Green apples! Yeah, one of the really it. Granny Smith apples here. Right. Uh, it's right fruity, very, pears, um, pears, peaches, summer fruits. Citrusy, is it? Mm, yeah, a bit citrus. I mean, coffee actually, you know, it's just like a, a, a coffee latte or something like that. You, know, you just get that sort of. Mm. No. I can maybe get, I see me again, I get pears. Just milky. Pear. Milky, yeah, pears definitely, pears, peaches. Linseed oil. So I know from your massage earlier on. <laughs> Mama! Oh. <laughs> uh, a wee bit floral. It's lovely flowers. Carnations coming through there, I think. Floral flowers. Mm. It's actually very pleasant. Quite a lot of nose in that for a light, delicate like one. Quite a, which is quite unusual. Well, it's 46%, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, is it 46%? Is, is, is it 46% alcohol per volume? I was talking to Neil McIver the day when he was delivering his whiskey, and Neil doesn't like any under 55% alcohol. Oh, alcohol. And he gave me a for his breakfast. <laughs> he gave me a wonderful tomato and 11 year old one got a half of the night. And it's a single cast, 66% alcohol by volume or something like that. So I'll have one of them, and half an hour later, I'll be unconscious. You'll be unconscious. Yeah, absolutely, after a long day. So let's have a wee taste of this, right, GB. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Vanilla. Woo. A bit toffee at the back of that. I'm getting caramel toffee on top of the vanilla, a bit citrus. Vanilla palette. That's quite spicy for me. Or Pears, yeah, away. I was just going to say spices. Um, Very vanilla custard. Apple turnover. Because mm. you're getting the apple. You're getting the apple through as a, as a, on, the, on the finish. You get the apple coming through now. It's a very, yeah, yeah. very short well, it's finish. Very sharp finish it's, as actually, well. it's very good. Aye. Spicy. Aye. A wee bit cinnamon, nutmeg coming through there. Quite a lot of spices now, but that, that's but it's a short finish, but still it's quite lingering, mm -hmm. uh, bizarrely, which is quite unusual. But the spices are coming through, still fruity. I'm getting pears, pears, pears yes. all the way. Yeah, ah, uh, definitely. Aye. Yeah. That's it. I think that's, a few of them have got. David's got pears. Mm -hmm. uh, he's putty in your hand. Neil says. Put, putty in your hand. Putty in your hand. <laughs> that's it. What's your popping that in? Question number two for the special dram. It's been renowned to have notes of heather, honey, such as vanilla and sweet malts. Go for it. That'll be a double winning. No. Yep. 
Yeah. Remember, there's about eight questions, so if you know the answer, maybe you shouldn't spin it out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just think the header. I put my hand up. You said what? Oh, you sausage. <laughs> Anybody else got any ideas? Could have been. What a fud. Anyway, there's <laughs> but, always one, eh? Back to the nose. Vanilla, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I get custardy. It's very custardy, Aye. very milky. It's, like, it's, it's a really, a really nice nose in that grey. And we get the pears, peaches, green apples. Green apples! You missed that the first time, didn't you? Aye. I was going like that. I was going like that. <laughs> the wrong side. <laughs> That's a really nice Susan fishy. Alan's yeah. liking it. Nice yeah. and fruity vanilla apple spices. Mm. Yep. All right. I'm not, I'm not getting the many spices on the on the nose, but the right. spices. Oh, definitely. Yeah, cinnamon, nice, nutmeg. Uh, oh, almost a wee chilli. So it comes to got, quite a nice spice. Don't know if it's just my taste bud tonight, but that's a right bunny, yeah. nippy, not and a bad as way. It, as it sits with the water, there's more and more fruit coming. The pears, peaches. Did we put water apples. in it? I have just put water in it. Never knows. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. Uh, and, and apparently, Altmuir has a wee bit of a cult following. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, sort of connoisseurs, for the want of a better phrase. I actually reckon this is one of the better uh, distilleries up there. Is that? Um, I don't know what the volume is. Somewhere a couple of million uh, litres. It's, it's, it's a fair size volume. If it's feeding Dewar's White Label, it will that's have to it, have a, a fair volume. I will look to the 1972 whiskey book that Neil got for his 50th birthday and see what they say about it's this. It's his 50th birthday this week. Oh, it's his birthday. On, is it, I thought it was Sunday. Aye. Well, your Valentine's week? birthday. You know, they say the romantic oh, look on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All more. This oh. is an old book by oh. saying Altmore Distillery, Guinness PLC owns it. <laughs> that's oh. it, Altmore, the big burn in Gaelic. As you say, flavours from the, the Foggy Moss. Illicit in that area was popular with illicit stills in the early part of the 19th century. Old, old it was a space age, was pilot it? plant used for Scottish malt distillers. And, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know it was part of Guinness. Well, that, that, was, that uh, was way back. It was United. DCL, United. Uh, DCL, and then yeah. got, and of course, Diageo now. Yeah, because so. they got rid of 20 distilleries and Diageo took all DCL over. Or, mm -hmm. or United. Scottish distillers were Scottish, last week. Right, right. Yeah, I think it was Scottish it's, it's, distillers. As we know, uh, no, it's our then, then, pals then, yeah, at Diageo. Yeah. yeah. No, are they? Yeah. No, I like I like that though. That, that, is that very certainly pleasant. that certainly gets a seal approval. Good. How's it go? I want you to do it. <laughs> Who wants to put your to do the seal of approval? Right. Question three. Question three. Question three, folks. Anybody got anything they want to ask us whilst we're there? Here, from 1934 until 1938, the distillery was closed after a fire, meaning a enormous restoration was required. They managed to resume production in 1938, but for only two years before a uh, wartime restrictions meant the barley couldn't be used and it had to pause to a oh. halt. That could be then a distillery in Scotland because they all had fires in yeah, the um, know, uh, 1800s, probably more likely. But uh, yeah, I think every distillery has had a fire at some time or another. Cali Brewery, I think, had three, didn't they? <laughs> Well, they're not sure jobs off. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe David Brune will see something about uh, that. Well, I don't know. David Brune, yeah, was he? Right, so what have we got here? What's the next one? Oh, number two. Number it's two. really looking forward to this one. It's a Glen Turret Triple Wood. It's a name of our company. That's it. Right, I'm for? going to get another glass. You tell everybody I'm going to do something. I'm okay. going to say I was going to do something with you, but I'm absolutely naughty. I just I I'll never know what's going to come away with. Okay. The Glen Turret uh, Triple Wood, uh, it's, it's just outside Creef. Comrie, isn't it? It's Comrie it comes under. Um, it's been bought over La Lique, which is a French crystal company. And mm -hmm. I think the bottles, the bottles themselves are, are just absolutely yep, fantastic. Yep. It, it's the same bottle, but it's really, it's like a crystal and it's it's all ribbed. And Martin, can you, Martin, Martin, you, Martin, you, can you, see, can you that? see that, Martin? You see, see that, nice Martin? Ribbed. Yeah, you see that, Martin? Okay. He's looking forward to trying that. Yep. Jamie's loving it. Good start, boys. And this is a 2020 maiden release, so it's a, it's a very young whiskey. Aye, aye. Uh, this I, is a no end statement, so it was one of these ones that you want to start buying and collecting, isn't it? Now, yeah, yeah the, I think the, 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 whole... the, the bottle, yeah, it's interesting. I'm just looking at the bottle, it's since 1763, they're claiming that, but it was all illicit stills, yes, uh, before 1775 when it took over. Oh, I love the nose in this that's one. A, yeah, that's a is... bigger. The uh, I'll give you another question whilst we're banging on a special centenary bottling of a 15 year old was commemorated for the distillery's 100th anniversary. In 1998, folks, come on, folks, don't be shy. 
Let's put Chop in. He's been confused. Some obscure bloody questions there. Yeah. Well, of course, it didn't make it bloody easy. Who's going to have a... Jamie, tell, have a shot at the title. Tell me what you think. Right. Number two. Lentor, mm. class of the Highland. That's it. Between Comrie and, and, and Creef, just north of Glen Eagles. Uh, from there, it was the famous Grouse. It's owned by La Leak, yeah. uh, French Crystal Company now. It was Edrington who had it before, Ed wasn't it? Yeah, it, 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 it was, was Maxium that used to oversee well, it. Well, well Maxium's the, the marketing arm of exactly. Edrington. Aye, aye. Aye. Edrington's the distillery, and it is the, the famous Grouse experience. Correct, correct. George Ridpath, who's not been on for a few weeks. Oh, but, uh, Georgie Porgy. Uh, Georgie, Mr. Grouse, for about 30 years selling the Grouse to other pubs and clubs in East Lothian. And Edinburgh. And Edinburgh. So we've got to look at the colour here. It's triple wood. Look at the colour of this. It's a really dark, it's really rich uh, colour. I'm, I'm not quite sure it actually tells us what the triple was, but it'll be in just European sherry. That's all it tells us. I think it was a mixture of someone I read up. I yeah, can't quite it, remember. It, 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 um, it'll be a lot of triple woods are bourbon, um, sometimes first filled virgin oak, sometimes. Yep, yep. Then they'll put it into a sherry and they'll put it back into a bourbon. Maybe the virgin's the second or third fill rather, second coming of bourbon. But that's the general bit. It's almost like a fair life in the, the sheriff cast. Mm. This would colour it. Quick look at the legs and that. You what mean? type of legs are there? Are they tatty peels yeah, legs? Yeah, they're, they're wee and dumpy legs. <laughs> Come on, Jamie. <laughs> Phil, have a shot and see what whiskey you think they're, it they're is. They're not, actually. They're, they're, they're quite consistent, quite quick coming down. They're, quite, they're almost symmetrical coming down. Oh, that's right. quite unusual. Oh. You know, that almost matches the bloody oh, the, the thing on the side of the glass. That, that, nice. I've not seen that before. That's interesting. I hope everybody else is noticing that. That's, that's, mm. that really is. Okay, a quick nose. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And the flavour map, I just get a wee hint of smoke there. Not peaty, mm -hmm. just a wee hint of smoke. So we've got the flavour map, GB? Yep, yeah, I'm just trying to grasp that right, bit of hot yeah, smoke yeah. for you. Yeah, just a wee bit. So we're coming over. But I think we're just going to go above the half your line here. Just to get that wee hint of smoke. Wee hint of... It says there's no much. Just a bit tobacco, you know, just dry tobacco mm. sort of thing. Oh, I'm getting a wee bit of smoke now. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's starting mm. to work mm. in the glass. But you're getting honey. Tobacco? Really, really rich. I like it's tobacco leaf. Mm -hmm. so I just, yeah, the yeah, first yeah. thing I get is just a wee hint of smoke there. Yeah, it's and you get the honey, the caramel, though. Da, 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 a wee da. bit <laughs> orange peel. Tatty peel. <laughs> okay, I was going to say that. Um, mm. Yeah, again, it, it's the, the orange... Nice Seville oranges, the, the, the marmalade, but thick cut marmalade. The thick cut, I was waiting for yeah, that. No just, older Jamaica. No old Jamaica. That's, no that's old Jamaica, reason. man. He's still uh, not eating that bag no, of chocolate. No, man, man. I'm, I'm saving that. I'm saving that's that. how tight he is. I've got another week to go and three pounds to lose. Then I'll be having that bar of old Jamaica. Right. And they're not getting nanny at Oh, we didn't want to get nanny He's that tight, he had to buy a whiskey pack for Sunday the night and he couldn't do it on the computer. That's how tight he was. <laughs> and somebody was, somebody was giving him the money for it. <laughs> I'll take it stupid because I couldn't do it. All right, okay. <laughs> but uh, had you eaten Kingdom on the bloody, the, 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 I shouldn't be saying this because you'll not be buying anybody that's bought it. it must be difficult. Uh, had you eaten Kingdom there? So I thought it was pre filled in for me, but it wouldn't accept it. Obviously, I had to type it myself. Ugh. But you had to take my phone off me and help me. I'm still an IT guru now because people pick up the phone and ask me IT questions. I just talk all the crap to them. That's <laughs> it. Neil McIver saying, because you're losing weight, your hair's going to grow back next. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. <laughs> and then he'll start spending money. I saw on Facebook about six o'clock night. He was taking his bearings out in minus five, sitting next to a, a fire pit out in his back oh, garden. <laughs> about a fit of snow. Right, where were we? We had, we, had, we had orange. A bit spicy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody was saying if some... Carlsberg done uh, miracles, but they don't, you, your hair would grow back. <laughs> Basically, anyway, that. I, I can't but, tell. Who's going to upset me at that then? Uh, it'll be Brian Johnson. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, Ke Kevin's saying definitely tobacco. Change yeah, the yes, subject. Thanks, guys. thanks, Kevin. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Crazy thanks, Kev. definitely. Yeah, definitely tobacco smoke. Wee, I'll tell you what, a wee banana there as well. <laughs> a wee banana. Peter, Peter. <laughs> banana. Oh, just a banana. Just, just a banana. banana. <laughs> the honey, toffee, caramel, banana. oranges. No, there's a bit of banana. Did, oh, I, did, banana. I, did, I, did I see it like that? Did I? Oh, just full of banana. It was, it was quite a surprise, actually. <laughs> no, that's what I was thinking. Oh, banana. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm retasting it. I'm, I'm I forgetting what I remember. <laughs> it's sidetracking me. I'm trying to get through the skin. 
<laughs> oh, that's that's beautiful. Wow. Toffee, caramel, honey. Well, that's nice. Honey, honey. Cinnamon. I'd be getting that wee hint of tobacco, that, that, that smoke, so, uh, mm -hmm. just a nice mild cigar sort of thing from there. Get the orange, the, the, the marmalade. But it, it's syrupy. I'm, I'm getting a lot of syrup. Really sweet. Mm -hmm. It's actually a very sweet one. I think yeah. it is. Aye. Did you get nuts. cinnamon? Did you see cinnamon? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Nuts. Maybe nuts. Nuts, nuts, or oh, hazel nuts. Hazel, hazel nuts, yeah. I like that. That for me that's really almost syrupy. I'm oh, sorry. Everybody's commenting on the banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh I <aye>, banana. <laughs> Remember, I can look look at these uh, comments later on. So I'll get where you are. I'll get you back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that that is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. It, 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 as I say, it's syrupy. I'm I'm liking the sweetness, mm -hmm. the richness of it. Really rich. Wow, wow, that is uh, that's lovely. What I was going to do before you put <laughs> <laughs> before you put in, just put a wee drop in here because I want to put a wee bit with tap water as well. Okay. Just because I want to compare with, with the, you know, with Mike, Mike's taste of water. Mike's, I want everybody Mike's to realize. Yeah, they say to Mike, uh, they said before we use Macar water now from Isla Lewis. We'll still publish it, Mike. Sorry. We should. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do that. I thought that would be a belter. It <laughs> looked like he's had to feed his fans, folks. We'll just right. do that. Right, where are <laughs> Right, I'm putting Macar water in this one. Right. Now, those of you who have got pipettes, the most of you should have, have a look at this because the richness of the colour of this, I always look at the oil separating in here. Well, I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, that's what I always say. We'll, be, hey, this, we'll go this one first yeah. because it, this one's, that, 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 uh, this one's right, Mike's. That, yeah. We'll do that. The car water, yeah. There we go. This is yours, Mike. It softens it quite a bit, but it's still honey. Syrup, mm -hmm. orange. E e yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get the, 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 the smoke now. There's a wee bit of tobacco smoke, but yeah, there's a wee bit there. Just a wee bit. Really, really nice. Is it? Uh... That's wonderful. That really is a wonderful drum. It's nice. I put just a wee bit too much water in it for my liking, but. Uh, see the, the caramel, the, the, the spices, cinnamon. Orange, but I'm, I, the syrup and honey, that, that mm -hmm. really, the sweetness. Yeah, definitely it, sweet. That, that, that's, that's far better than the peaked one. That, that's yeah. way, way up there and, and really, really like that. Is a, have any, have we, any food bottles left? I'll buy that in a minute. That's a really nice one. Oh, that, there, yeah. aye. Aye. We may need to put a wee bit like, more in the glass for this like, wee like, comparison test. Yeah. yeah, let's just put a wee bit more in tatty peel. I'm feeling generous. No, no, no. no it's a, well, I, I just... I, yeah. I want to try. I, I, I just I drown mine. Right, is that you when there? Yeah, that's. So right, you know who'll be getting this afterwards anyway. Eh? <laughs> and he's not here, but I gave him a bottle the other day that I thought it was Christmas. So we're doing this with tap water. It's quite an interesting. Comparison. Look, look at the. I mean, just the the, the colour of it. Let's, let's oh, it's got a different colour. <laughs> no, it's, it's so rich, so smooth. I I love this. Although it shouldn't affect the nose anyway, but let's have a wee drop in the palate. I'll tell you what, I would never believe that. The Macar water mic is just absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Compared to that. It, it, it does. It, it brings more the, out of it, eh? The, the, the syrup, the caramel, the toffee, and the it's Macar more water. It's bouncing out, is, absolutely. Is here, and I'm finding this harsher. With that, with water. that water, I, it's, there's not as much there, I, I, I thought. I would, I would never. No, I'm going to go I, back. I'm going to have another sip of this. I'm going to go back. Because he's it. getting it for free. He'll be sticking it in his pocket if he could. Eh? Like, smoky, although not peaty, very smooth, a light, lingering taste. That was James McDonald. Yeah. Uh, Michael Kerman, uh, Kelman, uh, the creme brulee, melon uh, with mellow with a drop of water. Definitely better with water. I've seen somebody else passing comment. Uh, what's this? Getting trout on the nose. You've been, you've been swimming, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis. Yep. Uh, oh, yep. it'd be nice with a bit of bread, he says. A wee piping hot loaf bread there. The, the Macar water, I, honestly, I, I would never have guessed that. You know, you, you always think the yeah, Tiger Wars, I remember 
Uh, it was on the Zoom call we had with members. Aye, aye. Mike dialed uh, Mike, in. Mike, Mike we'll get him again. We'll get him again. And, and his wife done that. And I think, yeah, it's something we've got to do mm -hmm. because uh, we're, we're happy to promote Mike's water and having them side by side of that's the mm. first time we've really done that. Yeah, yeah. And, and honestly, he's no paid as any. I've never met the man yeah, yeah. on Zoom sort of thing. But I'm sure he's got to look after us when we go to Aberdeen. Well. Oh, stuff is fantastic, Mike. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. But no, seriously, I, I, I do. I can notice the difference. I can notice Aye. the difference. It, it complements it better than the tap water does. I just felt that harshness with the yeah, tap water, yeah. but it was just so smooth in the with the water. That, that's yeah. it. Just to say, the people that have got the, the direct debits, the big direct debits, um, I've put... My jeans are soaking, man. You feed yourself. <laughs> I've put the water in. I've put a wee 50 mil in for you to try. Mike's going to hopefully sponsor the, the whiskey festival for us in uh, November, where we're going to be using this as our, our water of choice on the day. So, right, so uh, I'll, be, I'll be going to the Macallan Estate. Yes, Mike's, and Mike's also supplying. sponsoring the Macallan. <laughs> aye, aye. So Thanks, I can, Mike, see, I can see the sweat falling off his head right now up in Aberdeen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, question number six. Oh, we've never done the seal of approval of that. Oh, oh yeah, but I definitely get the seal, seal of approval. approval. I love that. Come on, that. you do it then. No, no, no. It's just, Who I'm, wants to see Ty do the seal of busy. approval? Ar, 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 ar. Yes, you can, Mark. We can get you the water. We've got so much, but uh, yeah, we were that's... trying to put, we we're trying to build it up that we do a bit more work with Mike. So we're working on it, but we'll yeah. we'll get it on our shop. Yep. Gregor's going to put it on the shop. Fanta some... Fantastic drum. Yeah. I'm, I'm so raving about the drum. Sorry. <laughs> Question number six: Gaelic language meaning is a meeting place. Meeting place. Okay. Number eight. I can. I can. Um, I'm not to say it though. No, I'm not really doing it. I was going to see what I was saying in here about this big modern book. Glen Turret. Towser, the cat, the distillery cat, was born in 1963 and died in 1987. And it's in the Guinness Book of Records as the greatest mouth, mouse catcher on a record. She is recorded to having caught 28,899 mice. There we go. Towser. Towser. Top cat, da na cake, Ayla. Yes. It's an undefined distillery. Mm -hmm. It's not actually a distillery. Um, it's uh, who owns it now? It's a it's a company based in London, I think. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? it's, it's, a, it's their a, own a, bottle, and it's yeah, a, a bottling like company. I can't remember. James Eddy and all yeah, these people. Yeah, are. yeah, who are actually own the brand. And yeah. so the second or third port ass cake we've done, but the rumor has it it's Cowleela. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm sure some Lafroig sometimes goes into. And where does it get its name from? Port Askeg. Which is the. Well, I think it's the. The port. The port. That's right, it, the port. But the ferry there's, goes in. No, it. There's two ports <laughs> in Ireland. There's Port Askeg and what's the other one? A port Ellen. Ellen. I yeah. seemingly the Ellen was already taken, so that's why they've done that. Yeah. There was Port Askeg, the one that's opposite Jura. Or is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's the hotel it, that I stayed in. You were talking to the. Yeah, I've got a group of six American yeah. uh, doctors going there in, in August. Yeah, it's staying in Portrush Cape. It's, it's a great wee spot because if you come out the front door, the ferries to Jura is just there. It's 100 yards uh, from the hotel. And yeah. uh, without boring you too much, me and David Pringle, when we were in Isla, Dad couldn't make it. I was coming off the ferry and I noticed it and I says, Oh, Davy, I says, I think we've got about an hour's drive until we get into the, the hotel. I came off the ramp, indicator on, and that was as in that's how close it was. So, uh, yeah. that I was, can we I, spot. I was going to say that my group and we, we go over there with the members, mm -hmm. but uh, I think I might look at Port Askey. Yeah. It's, it's a, a bit I think we might need well. a couple of spots of the square. Well, depends how many are going, but because uh, mm -hmm. they've got. Well, we can fill your seat and leave you at home. Absolutely. I'm happy with that. I'll be going over before and staying for a bit longer. <laughs> You're yes. looking before us because we're going as soon as we're open up. No, we've got up to space side to go. Space side, we're right. still going to do more filming right. anyway. Put, put us cake. We, we just digress as per normal. Right. Yeah, put us cake. Isla, uh, it, it's reputed, it's not reputed, it is, it's mostly cow Leela. And when you look at the color of it, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's so reminiscent of cow Leela. Uh, but there's usually a bit of Lafroig and a bit mm. of other pieces mixed in. So, well, does it actually advertise a Definitely single? Definitely an Isley whiskey. You can spot it, it a mile yeah, away. It, it advertises a single malt, so there can't be much, if any, uh, because it can't be defined as a single malt mm. if there's more than one distillery, because the word yeah. single is one whiskey made in one distillery. Mm, yeah. You know, not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of people Absolutely. know that. And when you get to single grain, there's three grains in single grain whiskey. Oh! 15% uh, uh, barley, some wheat and some corn. So how is it single corn? grains when there's three corns? Uh, three corns? <laughs> uh, three grains in it. 
because it's one whiskey made in one distillery. Ah. It's a green whiskey ah. made. Do you, are you, do you like green whiskey? No. I'm no, not a big no, fan no. of it. That's the David Beckham one. What's in oh, the, 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 the Hague Club? Yeah. Massive, massive in China. In Japan, oh, it's they're, 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 taking, sort of thing, they're taking it over there and they're, they're making whiskey cocktails with it. So, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's no snow for me. Snow, snow for me. See, eight inches. All right, set. Right, Porter's cake. Look at the color, really, really pale. Just reminiscent of a cow leela. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we've got to suspect. Yeah, have a TCP raisins. Mr. Watson says, hey, hey, wait on us, Scott. All right, come hey, on, hey, son. no way to do that. Hey, no, 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 just calm down. Yeah, calm no. down. It, co it comes on one night with us. Oh, and it's like just control the pace. Aye, aye. It's your pace, son. It's your pace. David Moorhead yeah. saying this is not for him. For, well, not for you settled in as well, Dave. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, so I know he's putting all six, six bottles of beer, the 26 <laughs> whiskeys, and the. Right. Have a look at the legs. Carry on, boys. Carry on. Aye. Just talk amongst <laughs> yourselves. Very light, very delicate. Look at the legs coming away from there. But, Rafty. We know it's a nihilist, so we know there's going to be some phenol there. Mm -hmm. On the map. The map. We're Oops. Sorry. Oops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's without drinking. <laughs> on the light, really light, up here. Maybe not quite as high as your are bags, but certainly hitting that top square. Mm -hmm. uh, just in there, just on the smoke. And that's without even tasting it, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. On the nose, salty, oh. peppery. I'm liking this. Bit, a bit citrus. Yeah, I'm getting a wee bit of lemon uh, lime. I'm going through that. It's certainly the pepper. Mm. Lime, lime peel, yeah. Tatty peel. peel. Mm. It's lovely. It smells nice. I quite like this, Steve. Mm -hmm. But Dave's been scalping the, 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 the I see earlier on, he's been informing me. Oh, I, I like that. Yeah. I do, I. Yeah. There's roasted green. Duke Donald v Saint vanilla. Donald quite a bit of vanilla there. Again, custard day. Lime, salt, pepper, yeah, like peppercorns, you know, you get the, the crushed pepper, the real black pepper sort of thing. Any bananas? No. No bananas. But surprising enough for one to be so light yeah. and coloured. I'm, I'm getting a bit of caramel coming through that. I'm agreeing with you in but, here. He says it yeah. smells really strong, but when you taste it, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's uh, actually very balanced on the, the phenols. I, I don't know what the PPMs are. It's not a lot. Um, i say maybe 25, 30 maximum. David, Aye, you know, it just, it does, it, it, it just, I'm just trying yeah. to... Like, but yeah, it, it, again, a lot of these these ones actually, on the nose, definitely the, 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 the phenol hits you quicker in the first mm -hmm. sort of thing. But on the palate, you get the citrus, I'm getting the caramel, actually hits you yeah. before the salt and pepper. Push the it phenol. real good. Yeah. Remember that song? Absolutely. Push it real good. Um, but um, um, as we're talking, it's, yep. it's still lingering. It's like quite yep. a long finish, nice lingering finish. And it just gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. But like me... Can't, no. Caramel, toffee, but the pepper as well. So, salted caramel, there you go. It's a, a, salted, a salted caramel, aye. yeah. A salted caramel galaxy, there's a good salted one. Salted caramel banana. And, 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 <laughs> I, quite, I quite like that, actually. I like that. Just whilst we're talking about I'm banging here, liking folk comments and that. Guys, if you're on the internet, please like us, share us, love us. Uh, if you can, go through YouTube. But that's our preferred mode of communication. Facebook's fine. But please like us, love us, share us, and spread the good word. Put some nice comments about me. <laughs> That'll be difficult. <laughs> right, we'll put the water in. Back, back to the nose. Yeah, you get the antiseptic. The, the, the phenol's really, really hitting yep. now uh, on that. But no, I, I still think it's like a bonfire. It's a, Yeah, there's it, light ember sort of thing. Burning yeah, embers yeah, sort of. yeah. Burnt wood. But I'm definitely getting the, the, the citrus and caramel from vanilla. Which is unusual for one to light mm -hmm, and to mm -hmm. have that caramel, but there is a, a nice element of sweetness coming through in that. Jamie's just adding more water. Oh, that, that's that, that really is interesting. Ago, maybe. That's quite interesting because yeah, with, yeah. The, with the water on the finish, there's no sweetness, there's no caramel. I mean, it's salty, peppery, phenol, uh, antiseptic. Um, so we carry them all. The, the, no, 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 getting that with water. I feel like no, no, I got but this, it was water. Ah, yeah. this was before the water. Right? Getting it with, with, with just on its own, but with the water, I've lost that, and I'm just getting the salt and pepper. It's real good. But, but, mm -hmm. yeah, it's really, really pleasant. Aye. Yeah, aye. I prefer that without the water. I've got to say, I, I, I think I agree. With it. There's, yeah. there's more character to it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, and the sweetness was there without mm -hmm. the water. Um, but yeah, I, I, I again oh. get the the, the seal of approval. Grim. 
we're talking about seal of approval, Brian Johnston's no commented on that. Yeah. Arr, 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 arr. yeah. So that was a tasty one. Now, the other question is, is the highest distillery in Scotland, folks? Come on. I come on. It. I, I can it. But some Fujita should have kept his... I, didn't think, I, know, I thought I, I'm, I'm allowed to answer the questions. He said yes. I don't know an ear to everybody. <laughs> no an ear. Where is it anyway? Well, I'm not going to whisper in your ear. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're not going to whisper in my ear. Liz Stewart was, a Scot it was the Scotland's first female... Um, would you call it a master blinder or maltster or what was it? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And she'd done a bottle in and when we were up, I bought a bottle of her limited edition stuff and uh, she, uh, it was signed autographed. Yeah, it's, it's still funny. Yeah, it's like still funny. this, it's from outer space. It's it was like, like a Sputnik come flying past. <laughs> the, the, head, the header actually gave it away yeah, for, that, for me because I always, I was talking about that when I, I've got to... People on my first tasting tour. So I've not got clean glasses. Yeah, yeah, we popped them behind. Did we not put them behind us or something like that? There's a box down the bottom, down the bottom there. Go, just oh, gonna, well, Neil's doing that, folks. Remember, we've got this stuff to buy on the shop. We've got the body warmers, we've got these, we've got the polisher. They will be online tomorrow. I know quite a few of you have put orders in. The orders will be arriving tomorrow, so I'll have them to you. If you've not ordered, don't worry. Go on, order, and just say it's still to be ordered, and we'll get it to you in the next couple of weeks. Right. Oh, look Stop at that. Distiller's edition, 1995. Mm. Yep. Double matured, lovely colour. Oh, lovely. There's no trusting me with this one. There's no much left there. It's only £5. It normally goes for the £20 nips. <laughs> That's why we're not going to see yeah. anymore. Um, no, uh, Dalpini. The 50 year old is very light, very delicate, very similar to the, the Glen Kinchy in the bottom mm -hmm. left hand corner. The Distiller's edition. This is a double matured, and you can definitely see that the colour of it. Yeah. The double maturation. So I quite like this. I think I've tasted this before. I don't know uh, if we've done it as one of our no, terms. I just with a change of protocol now, folks. Uh, Hopefully, if you can order them, Gregor will have them on the internet and you can just buy yeah, them. Yeah, because what we'll be doing is the, the director's drum for this will be available for four weeks tonight. Yeah. Four yeah. weeks tonight. So it gives us time and we'll get this stock in and we'll get it done. And we also, well, my plan is, is to be a bit more specialised as well. Yeah. A, a surprise tatty peel, not let them know what's going on. Yeah, well, and he'll faint when he sees the price of it, eh? Oh! All right. <laughs> but remember, we we get to taste it first before oh, we get, so there might not be any left for the buy. Aye, aye. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Clang, clang. <laughs> right, oh, right. The Stiller's edition, That's yeah, pretty. looks lovely. Yummy. Uh, and the second one it gave away was the highest distillery. Dolphin is famous. Yes, I mean, the, that's the a, highest yeah, distillery. Yeah. The, the coldest as well. In fact, Dolphin is, right? is normally the coldest place in Scotland. Uh, I see Braemar was twenty nine point two. The coldest in years, but Brema uh, uh, Dolphin is, is quite often there, right in the middle of the moors. Mm. But the header gave it away for me because I always talk about the yeah, header. Yeah. Uh, if you walk through the moors on a nice July, August day and the sun's shining, like when breeze, we were away up, uh, that was uh, a cracking you, amazing. You get that header, right. and you, you, you can actually, when you put a, a nice Dolphin to, to your nose, you actually get that floral sort of heathery. Uh, and that's that's how I just mm -hmm. that right away. So I apologize for spoiling your surprise. No, said, well, next but, time he can <laughs> keep his gob shut. He's yeah. know what the drill's for for future folks. If you've got any ideas, you can pipe up. You asked the wrong question too early. That's it. And don't so, worry, Brian, we will be going back to register, which is number one, two, and yeah, three. Yeah, I, I know exactly how it's going. Yeah, have a look at the legs in that grey under nice ah, fat, dumpy legs, slow just, dumpy legs. Just the, the way just Neil likes them. Just I like them. Fat, just like, dumpy, just slow. Like, like mine. Right. No smoke. And that's a lovely nose as well. Right? cracking nose. Let's have, 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 nice have a wee look at the chicken. It's, it's certainly no delicate, so we're not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to sit just on the half way line. I'm liking that. But coming halfway across here on the half way line. So we're just sitting just straight. Is that tropical nice, fruits nice or something like that, would you say? Just to me, it's quite mm -hmm. pineapple y. Grapefruit. Yeah. You're getting a wee bit of grapefruit there. Caramel, toffee. Any bananas? No. No bananas. No bananas, no. I'll tell you that story about in Diageo's uh, notes in Glen Kinchy 12 year old was green bananas. Oh, green <laughs> apples! I, 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 when I, we've got American audience normally in online tastings now. I, I tell them that how miserable some Scots are. No, me, obviously, him. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> with deep pockets. And I was always and short sure, arms. I was always sure of myself because I've, I've nosed thousands, thousands of Glen Kinchies uh, over the years. I've worked there for over three years. So you're doing. Sometimes five, six a day, um, three, four, five, six days a week, sort of thing. So, yeah, you know, but thousands of people there. 
and I never once got the green bananas. I've still never got the green bananas at Glen Kinchy, 12 year old. And I, I drink it quite regular in the, in the mm -hmm. pub. I, I, I enjoy a Glen Kinchy. And I used to stand there and say, if could anybody be specific with that nose, I'll buy them a bottle of Glen Kinchy, 12 year old. And I would say 5,000, 6,000 people through the door. <laughs> Never once did I have to buy that because I, I just think it's made oh, up. Gee, it, it, I, it's, I, a fantasy, <laughs> it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. Neil buying you a drink full stop. <laughs> I, I bought you one about 1976. Oh, though, no? great. Yeah, I was even right. born then. Great. <laughs> right, where were we? On the nose of this, yeah. White Caramel cake. toffee. Right, Center of the universe. Center of the universe. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit grapefruit there, Graham. Oh, you, I can you, get you that. Get, you get the, the honey, the, the heather coming there. Though. You, you can get that. The, the floral, yes. the heather, you know, it's just... We that high, the, Highland whiskey. Yeah, yeah you, get, you get that heather honey, you know, the dark the, the dark golden honey. And that's what reminds me of there on the nose. It's a really, really nice it's, nose. It's right? very, really very nice. nice. That's it. Jamie Thorne's not giving us his order tonight. He doesn't, he's not going to tell us. He liked right. them all. I think he's scared in case Aye. he likes he the wrong get, one. He might get wrong, Jamie. He might get wrong, Jamie. No, there's, near, there's near rights and there's near wrongs. Right. You like what you like and that's the end of it. There's no bad whiskies. Nutty. Hazelnuts. Nuts, nuts. Oh, Toffee. Hazelnuts. The, the caramel. I'm, I'm getting a wee bit dried fruit here. Yeah. Uh, dates, sultanas, Christmas cake and that. With, with the icing as well, because there's a sweetness here, mm -hmm. and I kind of get that sweetness. And it's no grapefruit, it's no tropical, it could be the tropical fruit, pineapple. Oh, no, they oh that's pineapple, what I was yeah. saying. Yeah, Christ. tropical fruit. You want some water? I was going to let you see if you wanted to try a bit of this water. I don't want to go against Mike's water because this is a different type of water. Do you want to try a wee bit of this water? See what you think. Well, you can't really compare it, but try some of this water and tell me what you think. Hey. No going to tell us what it is. I'll wait until you see it and try it and then tell me what you think of it. Softens on the nose, but still, mm -hmm. still caramel toffee. Yeah, yeah. You lose that tropical fruit though, you lose yeah, that yeah. Great fruit, pineapple, lost that. The nuts are still there, some hazel nuts. Nuts, nuts, oh hazel nuts. And, and, and now I've, I've, on the palate, we've got that dried fruit. You get the dried yeah, fruit yeah. in the nose with the, the water going back a second time. Really nice. Nice. I was at the top of the cistern in the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> No, I did. Colour, it looks like that. Do you know what? We'll, we'll compare it off screen later on. But uh, actually, do you know what I went and done? Was I got some fresh snow, worked it down, right? And then this is what it was. Remember, we were talking about like obviously we were talking hope about was, like hope it was the yellow snow. Well, there was a little bit of yellow <laughs> <laughs> next to it. <laughs> but so, don't compare it. We didn't compare that against. I know we can't. The we same can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's interesting because I people, just thought we'd try it. You people know? do say I, I never thought of that. Yeah, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I, I think quite dry. Oh, your hair's growing! Oh, <laughs> there it goes! <laughs> there has been a, another lockdown haircut needed desperately. Uh, uh... Um, but yeah, with, with, with the water, it, it it detracts from the fruitiness of it. Mm -hmm. It's the dry fruit, it's the, the honey, it's the very, coffee there. Very nice. Still heather, honey, still florally. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it's far nicer than the, the standard 15. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I find the 15 Aye. single mature, the bourbon mature, too sweet, too dry, the mm -hmm. short finish. This hits you. That's that is a nice really, really, really enjoyable nice whiskey, folks. Yeah, very good. Director's Dram, four weeks tonight. We'll get that advertised, get it bought. No quite sure the price yet. We'll probably keep this one at the same uh, price, but yeah. GB will be testing me a wee bit. And, and we're hoping again to go the same as the, the last Friday in the month, just put the price up a wee bit in the whiskies uh, so you're getting a better quality whiskey to, to those. And that's what we're all about is. is letting you taste and, and appreciate whiskies you're not going to spend 150 pound in a bottle aye, aye. Uh, so you know we, we, i'm not saying we'll spend 150 but we'll, we'll be starting to get that's to that it. price range and it'll uh, be, things, it's always know. good value that's a guarantee everybody that knows yeah. us knows yeah. it's a it's a good value. And, and i'm going to go back to, to, to the, the preference in order and i think everybody will agree uh, or know what i'm going to go for yeah, yeah. it's my number one is it's glenn turret i think that was an absolute stunning yeah yeah Really, really top quality. We enjoyed that. And Aye. number three, the Port Ras Keg is second, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the Alt Moor uh, third, but a very close third. Yeah, but yeah. that the, the, the Glen Turret for me was 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 up was, was up superior, yeah. a superior. 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 So two, two, three, one. 
two, three, I, one I mean, for me. Aye, I mean, I'm, I preferred this without water. If I wasn't adding mm -hmm. water to it, that may be sort of number yeah. two, number one, number two, number three. But I think adding water, I'd actually go one, two, and three. And I quite like the peaties, you know. One, one two, three. Yeah. One, oh, sorry. Two, 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 one, two, one, three. Ah, you know what I mean. I'm <laughs> probably that. That's number one. <laughs> but, right, number keep two. them right. Keep them right. <laughs> Oh, more. So with that, you know. Right. So, so you're 2-1-3. You're I was 2-3-1. Uh, 2-3-1. Anybody? Anybody watch? Everybody say it once we get this up. Remember, folks, the Whiskey Showdown in London in October. Get your tickets booked. It's the early bird. When are we going down? We're going in the second for the the Sunday. The, the, the third is a Sunday. Sunday. We're, we're going to take the show in on the Sunday, the 3rd of October. That's I, was, I was looking at flights. We got a flight down to Gatwick for about 59 quid now. Yeah, but it's a bit early to test. We're the fluffing about. Yeah, you know? I, I, I quite and fancy. Uh, we've got our own tour guide down in London, don't we, Hat? Don't aye, we? Aye. Mr. Uh, Mr. Smith. I quite fancy taking the train down, actually. We can have a wee. Exactly, have a bit of banner. So you need to use a big people. You're responsible for your own tickets to get into the show. <laughs> I've thought about responsible. <laughs> God. Anyway, what are we saying? Aye, so you're responsible <laughs> for your own tickets. Let us know so we can try and collectively work together as a group for the train. Maybe to get a train discount. Yeah, group yeah, or but like we're, that, we're, you know? we're quite happy. If and you hotel, want to go, and hotel. You can book through us and, and we'll just put the, the group booking yeah. in sort of thing from yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I may be able to get a discount that's through, it. through some but of the Get your tickets for the show. Days. That's what we're getting at. Yes. Yeah. Get your own yeah. tickets. We'll, we'll help you with, with that sort of thing uh, from there. So, yeah, 231. Great whiskey, the, the Glen Turret for me is the best we've had in a wee while. Yeah, it's so, very good. Yeah, really, it looks really great, like, looks packaging. Uh, Take yeah, my hat off to them, they've really pulled their socks up. Yeah, I think that, that'll put it up. We'll get to, I'd love to have a great association with them because they don't even know that we exist yet and we'll get to drive 1775. It's the other way around. They, they, uh, they, 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 they can does, eh? You're going to have green apples in the bottle soon. An interesting fact, I thought Glen Turret was a really, really big... Distillery and I, I bought the the Pritzker Yearbook 2021 uh, just for Christmas. The last time I was up in Glen Kinchy. I'm just having a wee read. Ox farm was it? <laughs> the brand new, but so, that was only only copy they got in, but they sold them to me. Uh -huh. yeah, they sold themselves out. It wasn't even on the tills on that. Oh. Uh, so I, I, they just arrived that morning, but I wanted it. Uh, so fortunately, because it closed down about three days later, but it only does 340,000 liters a year. I was actually shocked with that because I thought it was quite a a big established distillery, but it, it was owned by Edrington. Ah, uh, the 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 I yeah, owned by Edrington and the famous Gouse experience. Obviously, that there's something going down. It must go into the famous Gouse a blended whisky, and I was absolutely shocked. It only does three hundred forty thousand liters a year. I thought it would be about three four million. I know. I don't. I, it's not. It's not that big. A, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, I've, I've never been in. I've driven past it. I never got to see the the the, 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 the famous Gouse experience. But uh, no, I was, I was quite surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. So yeah, Glen Turret, yeah, top just, drawer, biscuit, the triple wood. Ab absolutely. And folks, when's our next tasting? Neil, whilst I'm typing this, uh, tell two weeks tonight, which on. will be the 26th of February. And uh, I can't remember what we're having. Oh, I do. I remember what we're having. We're we'll having a big, yep, Kings Barnes Balcomi. It's a uh, well, Balcomi Golf Club and a uh, golf course rather in St Andrews. It's part of the. The St Andrews Lynx Trust, so it's one of the the established golf courses, probably the worst of the, the seven courses up there. But it is a course here. Kings Barnes Distillery is just what five miles south mm -hmm. of St Andrews. Lovely, it's owned by the Weems family, who are big bottlers and whiskey collectors over the years. Uh, really looking forward to that. Seen the colour, it nice, dark, sherry mature. I think it's a very first release as well. To be honest, mm -hmm. in the bulk of it, it does. It looks great. Yeah. Then. We've got the big one hitting us. The second one's going to be the big one. The 120 pounder. It's 135 pounder. There you was. go. It was a. Uh, it's Glen Farkless 21 year old, and we just had the empty bottle lying here this afternoon when I was collecting some whiskies, and I had a nose at the empty bottle, and it was amazing. Oh, I, I, Absolutely. You know how much amazing. I like Glen Farkless. It, yeah. It actually, it just smelled of that richness of this sort of thing, the syrupy, yeah. like uh, a nice cough medicine. So I'm looking forward to that one, and we're finishing with an unusual Bunahavan. Which is a peaty smoky Bruno Haven. I can't remember the name of it. Toti Khan. Toti Khan. <laughs> Toti Khan. Toti Khan. Toti Khan. Easy for you to what say. Amaruso. Am <laughs> no, I didn't go there. <laughs> uh, so, three fantastic whiskies. Yeah, yeah. And this is where it's £35 by direct debit. Get booked up. If you want to get the whole month, it's £60. So, you're getting a real good deal for that. For members uh, only, though. For members only. You have to be a member. So, if you join for £25 a year, if you're not already there and you want to take that direct debit, 
for £25 a year, it's a saving of £120 a year. That alone before we get associate partners out. And unfortunately, the real price is £45. So if you're not in direct debit, you'll pay the real price. But we need to get as many in direct debit as possible because it allows us to, to purchase buy better the, and more. Yeah, the right amount of whiskey. Yeah. So we've not got the wastage, so we can put back to you guys rather than have the wastage use. from there. So three great whiskeys, 26th of February, no directors dram. Really looking forward to all three. Kings Barnes, well, Comey as well. It's a, it's a new distillery. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it is a first release. So, yeah, first be first release, so. Exciting, exciting. And we've Absolutely. got a few new whiskies going on in the shop as well for you to do, as yep. well as these bits and bobs. It's easy, you should have that by Monday. Remember, like us, love us. If you can spread the word, some positive comments. Love him. No, love, love him. him. Only a mother can love that. The, aye, my mammy <laughs> does. Spread the good word. She'll be up there going, Penicute, she'll be going to kill you. <laughs> uh, spread the good word then, folks, because we really rely on you to, to yep. help us drive us forward. Absolutely. And that's us, Jay-Z. Thank you very much for you, Liz. No, he's got nothing to say. No, he's, he's, he's concentrating. Yeah, he's, he's, I nearly crashed when I pick him up tonight. He's, he's concentrating, working hard there that's in the background. It. Goodbye. But uh, No, that's it, Neil. Great Absolutely. show. Yep. Hopefully everybody enjoyed them. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Get your orders in ASAP. Sooner you can get it, sooner we can get them out. And uh, we don't run out of whiskey. You can join in, us. In case it snows again. We'll in get case it, it snows. <laughs> Perfect. Right, what are we going to say, Neil? Slange. Slange. Oh, <laughs> folks, we want you to join us for the 1775 Premier Whiskey Tasting on the 26th of February. Wow, yes, it is a Premier Tasting, Graham, because we've got three upmarket whiskies. We're starting to put it up there, because remember, it's for direct debits, £35. £45 if you're not by, by direct debit. Number one is a new distillery, King's Barnes. It's our first release out at St Andrews there. And it is the Balcomi, which is one of St Andrew's golf courses. So the King's Barnes Balcomi. Never tried it before, but here's a special one. Glen Farkless, 21 year old. Graham's favourite is Glen Farkless. Remember the 105, which is one of the best ones we've mm -hmm. tasted here. 21 year old Glen Farkless, number two. And an unusual Buna Haven smoky one to finish off with. Again, the whiskies are way, way up there. It's, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Totek, Totekada which means something in Gaelic. I'll find out for 26th of February. So three amazing whiskies. Get your direct debits purchased, get it all sorted out, get them paying, or £45 if you don't do it by direct debit, unfortunately. And what we're going to say? We're going to say SLANGE!